All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pillow Talk Hour. And today we're going to be answering one of your questions. I have a lot of Pillow Talk um, questions that I have to go through. So that's why the, la the next few days you're going to watch me do um, three more um, Pillow Talk Hours in a row. Um, because I'm making up because I just had a lot and I just couldn't get to them because of school. So we're going to be answering them today. Um, and if you guys ever want to work with me like this, you guys can go to the description down below and purchase an email question. Or you guys can book a private phone call with me by clicking on the description down below, people. And look, if you want to if you want to prevent being in these types of situation, purchase my courses, people. Okay? Purchase the Psychological Game of Attraction, which is for single women. Natural Chemistry, which is for women who are in relationships. And my new course... A charisma blueprint. I don't know why I always forget the name. I, I just don't. You guys notice I kind of hesitate every time I say that. I don't know why. But charisma blueprint is a course that I made specifically to become more charismatic people. All right. Um, I know that anybody, you could be the most boring person in the world. You could be the personification of the color gray. And you'll gain some chromatic gestures to your personality. Um, it's a course that I made from studying charismatic people and from studying many different sources, people. It took me two years to come up with this course, all right? And everyone knows that I have what I like to call content integrity. I don't just make courses willy-nilly, all right? So click on the description down below to purchase it because if you don't, I am closing the channel, all right? You guys do not want me to do that. I've been, I've been, I'm, I'm starting new channels now, people, all right? I started a channel the other day and it's going off very well, all right? So... The proposition of me closing the channel gets closer and closer every day. Yeah, that's right, people. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Seriously, I don't know why I did that evil laugh. Um, all right, let's begin with the question. I'm a modern woman, and things... Okay, I hope you're not a prehistoric woman. And things moved fast with a guy I like, to be honest. He begged for my attention, and I thought he liked me more. Okay, listen to me. You know what I say all the time. Anytime a guy tries to speed things up, slow his hot ass down. Slow it down. Because if you do not slow it down, what would happen is that you're going to be accused of being needy, even though he's the one that wanted it. Slow things down. Even if you want to speed it up, it's always better to slow it down because the one who controls the pace of the relationship is the one that controls the relationship. And I'm not saying to have control over the relationship. What I'm trying to say is just avoid mistakes. In the beginning, prevent making simple mistakes. And these are one of those simple mistakes that if you just correct, a lot of the times, most of, a lot of the times those types of relationships um, have a higher likelihood of working out. But at the end of the day, if somebody likes you, genuinely likes you, and they try to speed it up, it doesn't matter if they... If, if you guys get in a relationship in three or four days, if he likes you, it's going to work out, right? But what this is doing, what the reason why I want you to slow it down is because what you're doing is to pre is preventing from being, um, from being, what do you call that? F from being love bombed. Because when you slow down a, a love bomber, right, what happens is that they end up losing interest. It hurts their ego too much, and which means you don't waste your time. Um, life happens and we, do, and we do the deed rather fast. He made me food after, and we continued talking, no change, until two days later when we spent two hours on the phone, and the next day, he cut ties venting about not being emotionally available. I was aware, to which I said, go get therapy. Okay, so you were aware he was emotionally unavailable. Okay, but the thing is this, is that this guy, did, from, from just from this, a guy does not just stop losing interest in two days. If he genuinely likes you, he does not lose interest. What this is was it was a love bomb. And how do you know somebody's love bombing you? Because they lose interest fast. Always remember, whatever comes fast leaves fast. That's just what it is. And and unfortunately, it's it's one of those things that you don't believe what I'm saying until it happens to you. Two weeks later, I he, he hit me up saying he was doing therapy. Oh. Oh, he's getting therapy. Oh, I hope he's looking back. Um, and we should try again only to only for me to just su suggest a situation ship because I myself don't want to settle yet. Here I am. Good. I look, people, I don't promote being emotionally cold. What I'm just trying to tell you is to slow it down. That's all I'm saying. I'm not promoting you guys and telling you guys to be cold fucking Terminators and shit like Wolverines. No, I'm just saying to slow it down. Okay? Just slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. Um, we came up with rules. What is this? Like the Jordan rules? Um, 
such as I need for uh, uh, such as I need fun dates, not just dinner. Okay, so you're saying romanticism. That's romanticism, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Good, 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 good. Um, and he said he needed me to text him, to which I disregarded and said something along the lines of, I don't. Fast forward. Okay, how did he react to you saying no? Fast forward. I was busy. So we met up Halloween weekend. He bought my costume, asked me to sleep over, and introduced me to his friends. Okay. Okay, so now you guys are getting to know people's, each other's friends. Before meeting them, he got tipsy and confessed that he would never, he would have never got me if he wasn't an asshole and that he listens to Andrew Tate vomit. <laughs> Look, ladies, look, man, people, this is something that I got to tell you guys. People get mad at Andrew Tate, and I get it. The issue is, is that the right, this is like, in terms of politics, Andrew Tate is right wing, right? He's a Muslim, he's conservative, but he's right wing. And he's a role model to a lot of boys. The problem is people get mad at him, but I ask myself, okay, to the people to the left, who's your role model for men? Who do you have as an alternative? Give me your Andrew Tate. Give me your masculine role model for men. Give me. You, they have none. They have no role models. So then when the disc, there's a big gap, here comes Andrew Big Dick Tate, starts giving advice to men, and people get mad. And I'm like, okay, so you guys don't want him to talk? Okay, but show us another alternative. No, there is no alternative. They just don't want guys to get any advice. Like, seriously, the reason why he exists is because the left, which is pissed off at him, doesn't want to offer men and young boys any solutions. They're just telling them, hey, listen to this girl and, and telling you to get in touch with your emotions. Okay, guys don't want to hear that shit. Give boys a, a, a role model from the left so that then th those boys who are listening to Andrew take and gravitate to them. But there isn't. The only ones providing boys any role model are right-wing people. The left have no role models. So it's, it's like, it's like it's, it kind of annoys me because... Like they want these boys to be these mature boys, and to and to not and to follow somebody who's good, but yet they offer no solutions. You're only tearing down the the little, the the, the the little people, not the little people, but the few men that are out there, out there trying to help men. They're just taking them down, and not giving them any alternatives. What the fuck? It makes no sense. Anyways. I, that, that just irks me, to be honest with you, man, because the reason why it irks me is because it's just, it's just not fair. It, it's, it's not fair, man, because you have, you have um, Cardi B who, who, was, who confessed to drugging boys and promoting a, 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 a culture of, of over-sexualization for girls, which, you know, as an adult, I benefit from it, <laughs> you know, adult women. But it's like, they don't get mad at her, but yet they get mad at Andrew for helping boys. It's like, okay, then you help them. Go ahead. You fill in the gaps. Anyways. And that's how he feels. Okay, so he says, if he wasn't an asshole and he listens to Andrew Tate, and that's how he feels, that if he says the wrong thing, I'll leave. You see, the things with a lot of these guys is that they don't know how to act, right? Um, they don't know what a, what a woman really likes. And what, and what we should do is not look at them with disgust. I'm just being honest. We should look at them as b men who are lost, Men who have no guidance, men who maybe never had any male positive male role models, and, and what we're doing to them is rather than helping them, we're just saying you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Okay, they're wrong, but give them an alternative, give them somebody to listen to. Okay, sorry, this is not the point of this video. Um, that he feels like what he says the wrong thing, and I'll leave. Then at a party, I was socializing, and he wouldn't, and he wouldn't um, leave my side. <laughs> And someone asks if we were dating, and I practically scream no. Jesus Christ, what is he, the Grinch? He asks if we could take pictures together, to which I did, but made funny faces. And when playing um, flip cups, he kept grabbing me, and I was like, yeah, no. Okay, come on, girl, what are you doing, man? The night continued. I don't know, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know what you think about this, man, right now. The night continued, and during the deed, <laughs> the deed, <laughs> all right, he, what are you, following God's order? <laughs> like, all right, let's follow, let's do what the, what the Lord said to do. Um, the deed, he fixed the position and said, no, like this, because I like you. Ooh. Two times, just so I could just, could, 
hear it ignored by the way okay so you he told you he liked it like this and you just ignored it then in the morning i asked if he could make me breakfast during which he said his emotional his eq was high and he could tell i was skittish person i should mention this was our second encounter so second time doing the poom poom, I guess. I also know he's still dating around. I like him to text me more without having to beg as of right now. He only texts me when he wants to link up. The agreement in every other week. Also, can tell if it's just talk or does he like me. So what do I do? Get out or play nice? Tell him I have a date. Okay. Um, honestly, my love, um, I wish you would have told me how long you known him for. Um, I'm assuming you guys did the deed twice and i'm assuming from this you guys known each other less than a month just from what i read um i think you know it, it seems like he, he I, i'm reading this and honestly the fact that he's been you know I, I i kind of can accept a little bit of distance in the beginning right especially when you said that um, life happens and we did the deed, blah, 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 blah. We spent two hours on the phone the next day. He cut ties, venting about not being emotionally available, to which I said, get therapy. Two weeks later, he hit me up. He was going to therapy. Two weeks. Look, sometimes in the beginning, it's okay for a person not to see you for a week or two. But what happens is after the second time they meet you, after the third time they meet you, they start liking you. Sometimes a person doesn't like you on the first date and they don't feel the chemistry. So they're, they're fine with not seeing you for like a few days or even weeks. But what happens is that they start realizing they like you after the after meeting up again and they start feeling chemistry and then they want to see you more. So in the beginning, I don't mind. I, I, I personally, from what I've seen, from what I'm reading, it seems like he's starting to like you from what I'm seeing. And he only texts me when he wants to link up. But relax, you know, you, you guys you, give it another month. Right, because yes, he's only texting you to meet up, but that's because he still doesn't like you yet. Like, what the hell? Like, you're not what are you a baby? He's not gonna love you. He's not gonna love you instantly. You're not a baby, you know. Like, so he's not gonna love you yet. So just let us let us slowly give it another month. Let's see what happens, right? Um, it's and 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 I don't want you to be afraid to get hurt. That's another thing. So if I would I would allow you to open up to take this somewhere. And you got to be okay with getting your heart broken and, and not working out because that's the only way for this to work is for you to, you know, put yourself in that position. But you got to wait, you know, give it another month, mirror him. If he texts you, you text him. If he calls you, you call him. Um, and But follow the general rule. If you want him to call you more, call him less, right? So, for example, let's just say you guys talk right now. But let's just say you you notice you want him to call you more. Just start being a little bit more busy and don't call him as much. I only say this when you're being hard-headed. Naturally, you don't have to do this. Naturally, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you really want to see how he feels, then just start mirroring him. Like I always say, if he calls you a lot, then you call him. If you notice that he's not texting you that much, then you start texting that, that not that much. All you're doing is mirroring him. And what would happen is that he's gonna his behavior is going to dictate where this relationship goes. Because if... All of a sudden, he starts acting distant, and you start acting distant. Let's imagine what's going on in his head. He likes you. Let's just imagine he likes you, and you start acting distant. He's going to start getting needy and start chasing. But let's just say he doesn't like you, and he starts acting distant, and you start acting distant. You're doing him a goddamn favor. That's what's going on, all right? And it's not that it doesn't work, but that he just doesn't like you enough to care or even miss you. And that's the point of mirroring. It reveals what the person feels because for some reason or another, people do not like to tell you that they don't like you. Um, most likely is because it's awkward. Most likely is because maybe they don't want to get stabbed. I don't fucking know, right? <laughs> most likely is because breaking up with people is awkward, man. It really is. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I feel like it is. I mean, I've... I've never broken up from a long distance the relationship. I mean, me from a, from from um, long term relationships. Usually, they were the ones that broke up with me. To be honest with you, um, like usually two times. Yeah, which is which sucks. But whatever, man. At least I never had to go through the awkwardness of breaking up with them. You know, I would rather be the one that's that. <laughs> honestly, because it is kind of awkward. I can't imagine how awkward that is, man. It's like firing a, a friend of yours. Um, so also can't tell if he just wants to talk or does he like me again, you time will reveal. You're not going to get all the answers today. 
just l slow it down. Let him show you over the next weeks. So what do I do? Get out, get out, or play nice? Tell him I have a date? No, just, just look, just be yourself. Be yourself. Don't play, don't apply any of these games, um, and give it another month, like you would in any relationship. If you start noticing any inconsistencies, for whatever reason, like I said, just mirror him. And if he starts complaining about your inconsistency, then just say, hey, look, I just, you know, I thought, honestly, I just felt like you didn't want to talk, so I just gave you space. Don't say, oh, motherfucker, I'm doing that shit because I'm marrying you. Nah, that's crazy. Just say, I just wanted to give you space. And honestly, I think that's the, I think that's the right thing to do. When you, when, you, when you don't feel like you have the, the, the place, when you're not in place to complain, you know what I'm saying? When, when you don't feel like you have that, emotion, that connection with them to call them out on it, this is the next best thing. All right. So yeah, don't don't tell him you have a date. Um, oh, but do let him. But do have a social life. Um, let him know that you do have friends. And, and if you're talking to him and in a conversation comes up a guy, bring him up. Don't be afraid to bring up other people just because you know you like him. Um, guys will forgive you for bringing up for bringing up Tyrone, the personal trainer. Right. Um, so that's that's what I would do if I was you. I think you're in a good position. I really do think so. Um, simply because he's making you breakfast. He's taking you out to parties. Um, uh, la, 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 la. he's asking you out, and the quick sex does not ruin their relationship. It really doesn't. Like honestly, it just doesn't. Meeting at a strip club does, but quick sex, no. It's modern day people. This is not the fifties. All right, you're not gonna get lynched. All right, you, you, it, it's there's no honor in that nowadays, at least. You know, so don't 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 lynch me, people. Okay, I did not make people. All right. Anyways, that's my answer to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this question made a lot of sense to you guys. And um, let me know. If, let me know the person who made this um, request. Let me know if there's any other questions that you have.